folks, I have a really cool instrument to show you today. There's a lot to say about this instrument, so I hope you'll be patient with me as I tell you uh, what was going on with it. Uh, this is a baritone ukulele. Um, it's tuned GCEA, and uh, it has five strings. So the uh, the uh, you know the inspiration behind this project was the artist who ordered it. His uh, name is Armand, and he's a, um, a luthier as well. He works on violins mostly, but he's a great fiddler, and he likes to play fiddle tunes on his ukulele. So we, he already had one with five strings and we wanted to try it out as well in this kind of setup. And uh, that's not unheard of in the ukulele world. Uh, as it's set up right now, we've got doubled strings here in this course. So a high G and a low G and then single C, E, and A. Um, and uh, that's not unheard of. Uh, but I was inspired by um, looking at some um, instruments from the 1880s and 90s, including the one called a rajao which is one of the ancestors from Portugal of the ukulele. It had five strings. Um, I saw a photo from Sean, an ukulele friend, of one made by Santo, and it had a, a headstock shape like this, which is why I chose to uh, you know, adapt it to, to this design. I haven't made an instrument with a different shaped headstock in many years, so this is kind of a first for me, uh, stepping out on a limb. But I thought it was appropriate to pay respect to those original instruments. So anyway, the headstock comes from the Rajao, and then I thought, well, I'm going to do as many things as possible to mimic the, those um, first three luthiers in Hawaii who made instruments like this and uh, try to do what I can to pay homage to that. So, you know, I made my own rope binding. Uh, mine's out of maple, walnut, and cherry, um, which I think looks really cool. The back and sides are oak, quarter sawn white oak, really cool figure in it. The top is Sitka Spruce. And for the whole thing, I used French polish, which is a way to build up shellac. And because of that, I could use an amber color, which looks like the old instruments. Um, and it was important for me to learn how to use a finish like that, because that's uh, a traditional method. So this is the first time learning how to French polish. I had lots of help from friends. And uh, it feels really good. It feels durable. It's light. Um, you know, as I get better at it, it'll look even even better. Um, so yeah, that amber look I think is important to this. The fretboard headplate and bridge are Texas ebony, which was a way to get kind of a traditional look with the dark wood, but I could use this salvage wood I have on hand instead of buying new rosewood off the boat. Love the sap wood that I got everywhere. And then, you know, I bound as much as I could with the rope. The neck is spruce and oak. It's a good strong way to make a neck, but keep it lightweight. Um, yeah, and then there's extra room here to play for banjo playing, and uh, it's just a really cool project. So, uh, thing that's special about this is that um, it's not unheard of to have ukuleles with that doubled course. That's fine. Um, but to play banjo music, Armin likes to have the str this fifth string farther away so that when you play the thumb, it doesn't hit the fourth string if you don't want it to. So there's extra notches in the saddle here. So if I just pull this over and then tweak the tuning. I've now got a fifth string that's far enough away that when I use my thumb in claw hammer style, it's not, not going to get in the way, so... Um... It's a cool way to approach it. Uh, it's taking some getting. It's taking some adjustment for me to play with this setup. Um, I'm hoping it's close enough what he's used to that he can just take it out of the case and get going. So stay tuned for hopefully some videos and stuff from him uh, playing this instrument because he's uh, you know a great player. It'll be really fun to see what he comes up with. And it felt really good to work on something with a little historical research behind it, but make something completely new and unique. So yeah, this is number six seventy nine. Ready to go. Cheers. Cheers.